Hi everyone, this is Orchid. Today I'm working on a decor item. I actually came upon this sculpture online. It's made from metal, retails for around $350. So I thought I would recreate it using scrap board that I have. Um, made a mock-up of it in paper uh, just to make sure I got my dimensions well. I try to maintain the size. This is the wood I use, half inch by three quarter inch and um, these are the pieces i cut out to make it they're all listed there if you decide to recreate this on your own once i got my pieces cut out i just laid it out like i did with the paper mock-up of it in the beginning making sure that my pieces are cut smoothly and that they won't be warped or anything now I actually glued it together using this glue but I would recommend this instead not at all impressed with the liquid nails I've had it for some time so I just used it so I started by gluing the frame together these are 12 inch pieces and I stapled them because this is half inch by three quarter inch I normally would have gone with a much thicker wood but I didn't now to get the area that I put that centerpiece in I just went halfway between six inches and then I just laid out the other side and just started gluing that together as well making sure that the distance between the top and the bottom is the same measurements are very important here guys you want it to look balanced so you have to pay a lot of attention to the measurements. Um, I did most of it for you in terms of giving you what sizes the pieces would be. That is if you want a 12 by 12 piece like I made here. And all I'm doing right now is just gluing those pieces into place and I stapled it. Now my sculpture is going to be facing the wall. The back will be to the wall. I'm not concerned about the staples. And um, had I used the Elmer's glue, I probably would not have to um, staple it. Just put in the legs on. And all this is just scrap wood that I had left over, guys. Now, this piece of wood, it retails for a dollar and five cents per, yard, per foot. So it takes about nine foot to make this. That's another piece of scrap wood that I'm using to do the base. Now I sprayed it gold because my plan is to make it look like metal. So I had some leftover metal leaf in and I'm going to put that over the front of the sculpture. Not concerned about the staples in the back. And if I were, I could have simply put the um, leaf in that I'm showing you here over that too. Then you won't notice that as much. So with the leaf in, I've done this before, I put a link below so you can see exactly how it's done. But it comes in a kit with 25 piece sheets of um, leaf in, the adhesive as well as the sealer. So you need two brushes, one to put the adhesive onto the piece and then you need a very soft brush. I'm using a sponge brush but your best bet is to use a makeup brush. You want something really soft because the leaf is very fragile it comes apart very easily it's like tissue paper so you put the head adhesive on you wait about 20 to 30 seconds and then you lay the leaf in on top of that and you have to do that very gently and once it dries fairly quickly then you simply brush away the excess now I like to use a little scraps on um, because I want to give it a real metal look I don't want it to be too even and neatly done so I tend to pick the scrap pieces up and put them onto other areas on the piece. Fairly easy um, project. I, When I first used uh, gold leafing I hated it and now I actually love it. And it comes in silver as well and I think I've seen it in rose gold. You also have liquid leafing which I've never tried. I plan to because it must be easier than this. It's beautiful when done, but very time consuming. And does, you know, mimic the look of metal. So now I'm putting on the sealer and it goes on, you know, opaque, but dries clear. 
and this is what's going to keep the leaf in on the piece next i just um, nail the um, base on and i'm working with the scrap wood that i have guys so not the best looking wood but because it's actually a rough looking piece it doesn't really matter and this is it so i actually love this guys um the feedback from the peanut gallery here at home is po quite positive i must say um yeah you don't have to use it the way i did as a stand-in decor item you could forget the legs and make yourself a set of say four or three to put on the wall um, i'm thinking of doing that um too so Hope you like it. As usual, your feedback is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye now.